If you live anywhere near one of these hot political contests in this country, then you know political ads are all over the airwaves. Candidates are spending a fortune this season, and outside political groups are spending even more money. Some of them take liberties with the truth. Some of the ads airing right now contain outright lies. Others have more subtle deceptions. Our report tonight from NBC's Andrea Mitchell. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Backwoods and hollers, just some of the boys at the coffee shop. Obama's messing things up. <laughs> Spending money we don't have. Yeah. Stimulus, Obamacare. Yeah, and Joe Manchin supported it all. In fact, the commercial was shot in South Philly's Oregon Diner, far from country roads, with actors told to wear, quote, a hickey blue-collar look, jeans, work boots, flannel shirts, and John Deere hats, misspelled, preferably beat up. Hi, America. It's Damian Muziani here. One of the actors, Damian Muziani, has played a lot of roles. Final decision, Yeah, all of those are my final okay. answers, yes. Even appearing on Saturday Night Live. All right, I'll get In Ohio, a Republican attack ad featured an out-of-work steel worker. Now Ted Strickland wants us to keep him in his job. You wouldn't think there's a shortage of unemployed workers in Ohio. But they hired an actor right out of Law and Order. And some other roles we can't show you on family TV. In some cases, the same actors pop up in different states. Here is undocumented immigrants in Nevada and Louisiana. Holy frijoles! Those are the same hombres! Look at those two pictures! This is the most terrifying scenario of all. There aren't enough stock photos of scary minorities out there <laughs> to represent all the scary minorities we know have got to be out there. It's not new that political ads use actors. But what is different is the torrent of money from corporations and anonymous outside groups pouring into campaigns this year because of a Supreme Court ruling and other changes in the law. They've got names like Americans for Prosperity or the Committee for Truth in Politics or Moms for Motherhood. <laughs> Actually, the last one I made up. But it's no laughing matter for Democrats, being outspent seven to one by Republicans in the battle for the airwaves. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington.